After exchanging missile strikes last week that raised concerns over fresh flashpoints in West Asia, Pakistan and Iran are dialing down tensions. Ambassadors of both countries have also been asked to return to their respective posts by January 26th. Now, according to Pakistan's foreign minister, Iranian foreign minister Hossein Amir Abdullahian will visit Islamabad on January 29th. Foreign Minister Jilani expressed Pakistan's readiness to work with Iran on all issues based on spirit of mutual trust and cooperation. The tit for tat strikes were one of the biggest cross-border incidents between Iran and Pakistan in recent years. The attacks raised an alarm in the region. Experts feared they were the Israel-Hamas war spillover in this part of Asia. Iran said its strike was intended to target militants in Pakistan's Balochistan region. It, however, killed two children and three, and injured three others instead. In the retaliatory missile strike, Pakistan killed nine people, including four children, in the Iranian territory. Pakistan claimed its attack was targeting terrorist hideouts. The situation drew the attention of the U.S. and the United Nations, along with China, who called for calm and restraint.